Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the system state classification of the power system. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lecture, we understand the power system security. Okay, so now in this lecture, let us try to understand the system state classification okay we know that previously we have discussed a power system operating normally okay when subjected to the contingency or if some contingency has occurred in the system so that contingency may cause some of the equipment to operate with overloading okay and if suppose if that overloading if it continues for some time then uh, that may cause that uh, particular equipment to get damage okay or it may result into a system blackout okay so that we already discussed in previous lecture what is contingency we have idea related to that so the steps or the level that a system follows after the contingencies are introduced in the system so depending upon that levels uh, we have the system state classification okay so in total we have uh, six states in which the power system it can operate okay and basically this system state classification it was suggested in order to define the relevant energy management system function see what that energy management system ems is it is nothing but the load dispatch center okay so in order to define the relevant energy management uh, system function so this system state classifications are suggested okay so let us discuss those uh, system state classification level by level so the first level uh, we can see here is the secure level okay so what we will have in the system is operating in level one that is the secure level here all the loads will be supplied that is good operating points or the operating limits will not be violated here okay see operating limits it may be like a voltage or limit on any bus again for line it will be like a limitation will be there related to the power flowing on the line okay so that can be the operating limit so this way the operating limits we can have in the system so if the system is operating in this level one so operating limits will not be violated in the event of contingency there will be no violation okay so even if the contingencies are introduced in the system the system will not have any violation see basically power system will not be operating in this level one all the time uh, because it is a very costly uh, to operate the power system in level one okay and again the power system if it is operating in the level one it can sustain the credible contingencies okay it can sustain the contingencies up to certain limit okay if the contingencies are severe okay then uh, there is a possibility that the system may not sustain those contingencies okay so as i said the contingencies if introduced there will not be violations but this is restricted to some limit okay if those contingency limits increases then the system will fall out of this level one that is a secure level and it will jump to following this contingency it will jump to level two okay or it will now be operating in level two okay so now here following the contingencies again see how severe this contingency can be we can decide it uh, by comparing the pre-contingency and post-contingency operating limits okay or the operating points see either the system will fall from level one to level two or it may fall to level three as well it depends on the severity of the contingency 
as I said that contingency analysis basically it is going to give us the list of or it is going to predict the list of possible fault or the possible outages or the possible troubles okay so according to the contingency let's say if the generator failure is there so generator failure might bring this system from level 1 to level 2 or if suppose if there is a failure of generator as well as the failure of the line then that may bring the system from level 1 to level 3 okay so let us first discuss what will happen when the system goes from level 1 to level 2 following the contingency okay here in level 2 that is the correctively secure okay again it is also costly to operate the system in level 2 as well okay but most of the time uh, the system will remain in level 2 okay because here the loss of load will not be there let me explain that point all the loads will be supplied in this case okay no operating limits violated okay following this contingency this is going to be there any violation caused by the contingency when the system operating in level 2 and if suppose if any violation is caused here okay they can be corrected by an appropriate control action without loss of load okay without losing the load without cutting off the load this contingency can be corrected by the use of some appropriate control action okay again that control action will be decided uh, depending upon the contingency okay which has occurred or which has introduced in the system okay so from this level 2 with the help of some control action we can again go back to level 1 okay if suppose if we don't take any corrective action here okay if we let our system to operate in this level 2 that is the correctively secure state then if suppose if on this system if any contingency if now comes then what happen the system will follow that contingency and it will enter into this level 4 which is a correctable emergency okay we'll get back to this correctable emergency first let us discuss what will happen when the system goes from level 1 to level 3 uh, what this level 3 is it is the alert level okay what is happening in alert level all the loads will be supplied here okay operating points are not going to violated in this case but some violations caused by the contingency cannot be corrected without loss of load now when the system is in, entered into the alert level that is the third level okay now if in that level if suppose if any contingency is introduced here then this contingency will cause some violation okay uh, let's say it may cause the overloading of uh, equipments okay so these contingencies or these violations we cannot correct it without loss of any load earlier it was possible uh, that was in level 2 we were able to correct those violations caused by the contingencies without losing the load but when we entered in level 3 uh, it is not possible to correct those violations caused by the contingencies without losing some load okay we have to lose some load okay we have to cut off some load okay see uh, that is one way to remove the overloading from the equipment okay let's say if the generators are getting overloaded so if i cut off some demand so by that way the overloading of that generator we can bring down okay so that is what we can do we can correct those violations by losing some load okay now again from this level 3 now depending upon the what control action we are planning or what control action we are deciding the system will either enter into the level 1 following this control action or it will either enter into this level 2 following this control action okay now suppose if the system is operating in level 4 okay from level 2 after following some contingency if the system has entered into level 4 which is a correctable emergency okay so what will happen here all the loads will be supplied here 
but what is happening here the operating limits are violated here okay in the beginning only the operating limits are violated okay so if suppose if further more contingencies comes okay so what will happen the system will enter into level 5 that is a non correctable emergency okay so first let us uh, discuss for level 4 loads will be supplied here but operating limits are violated in the beginning only okay this can be corrected by an appropriate control action without loss of load okay so without losing load with the help of some control action we can correct those violation okay if suppose if we are able to do that we can go back to level 3 from level number 4 okay with some control action again from level 3 we have the provision to go to either level 2 and level 1 now it depends if you are going for the level 1 it will be the costlier choice if you are going for level 2 it will be a less costlier choice it depends on the power system operator what he has to do whether he have to go for level 1 or level 2 it depends okay accordingly the control action we have to uh, decide okay now if suppose if we have not taken any control action in level 4 as well okay so what will happen we will enter into level 5 okay here this is the non correctable emergency so we cannot correct that emergency till this point till level 4 with the help of some control action we were able to go to the level 3 and from level 3 it was possible to go to level 1 or level 2 okay but when we enter in level 5 which is a non correctable emergency we cannot directly go back from level 5 to upper levels that is level 4 level 3 level 2 we cannot do that so what happens here in level 5 loads will be supplied in the beginning but operating limits are violated more severe violations will be there here okay so these violations cannot be corrected without loss of load so to correct those violations we need to cut off some load okay so the action plan control action for this state will bring the system into the level number six okay following this action plan will go to the level six that is the restorative level okay here the operating limits violations are corrected but for some time the load has suffered okay the loss of load was there okay so again here we need to do some control action we need to decide some control action with that control action following that control action the system will go back to the level 3 that is the alert level and from the alert level again it depends on the operator choice whether to go for level 1 or level 2 okay again when it enters in level 2 again it is up to the operator to decide whether to go for level 1 or to remain in level 2 only okay so this is all related to the system state classification thank you very much